been too long since I've had a beer bath so yeah it's good that uh, that took really everything that I had in me to to come out at the end there was quite a bit of the run it was just trying to narrow the gap and get as many points as I could and at the start of the second lap I figured that there's an outside chance of, of getting up to the to the lead and or at least on the podium and once I got into third I could see second and first and had to put in a pretty pretty solid dig on the, the last big hill um, before the bridge and that was kind of where I did the damage. Came out of the water in a good spot and uh, rode with, uh, with uh, Trevor and Jackson for the first 45 minutes or so and then they, they were riding really strong and I had to just kind of make the decision. A gap opened up uh, two people in front of me and I, I could it was going to take too much to close it. So I had to let him go and then just uh, stay as efficient as possible and, and minimize the losses. and. I had a, a group of three that, that uh, we yeah, rode pretty well together and um, was able to come off four and a half minutes down. I, I thought that might have been a little bit too much, uh, but the way it shook out, it was uh, exactly what we needed. I really wasn't focused on winning it out of the gates. It was really, because uh, it wasn't that hot yet. And I figured if it was hot, then maybe some people would melt up front. It was just uh, run hard and, and get as close as you can um, and get as many points as I could and hopefully find a podium at the end of the day at minimum. And um, yeah, I, I moved into third, second, first, like within a couple minutes of each other. I'll think all in the same mile. So it was, uh, it, yeah, it, there was some, some moments where it was, I don't think I can do this, but uh, you know, I just had to focus on running hard and, and uh, seeing what happened at the end. Good swim, I'm where I thought I'd be kind of there and thereabouts in the mix and feeling pretty good, pretty relaxed, got out of the water, got on the bike, started working, um, lost my bottle. Unfortunately, my whole bottle cage broke off. I think the bolts actually broke. Maybe they were rusty or needed to be replaced. So that was tough because I was, instead of having like 180 grams of carbs, I was down to like 50. So I knew I would need to stop at some aid stations, um, which, you know, I kind of refocused and realized like I could still have a really good day. Uh, so I rode hard for the first half, kind of got in that group of, I think it was five or six of us that were sort of broken away. And, and then at the second last on the last aid station, I had to stop to grab gel. So that really kills your momentum and I had to work very hard to get back in the group. And I don't know if it really affected me too much because I was still where I needed to be and had a good ride and got off the bike in a good position to take the win. And I thought I was in a battle with Nicholas Quinet to win and he was just getting further and further and further away. And then he starts blowing up, but at the last, you turn you see Matt Hansen went from like four minutes to like 40 seconds down and I thought that that was uh, gonna be tough to hold him off and he, he passed me about 20 seconds before I passed Nicholas so I never was in the lead but solid second place for me I really wanted to win here today but Matt you know executed an amazing race and running 109 like it's stellar it's amazing and it proves that he's still at the top level and uh, 
congrats to him. He deserves it. And uh, I'm happy with second and got to recover and get, get after it at the next one. Yeah, I just first feel like it's a lot of gratitude and I'm super grateful. Um, hopefully I can walk tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm just over the moon. Uh, I came here to, I mean, this is my first race of 2024. I was meant to start April 1st or whatever at Oceanside to kick off the year and uh, had a car and a bike incident and uh, unfortunately just wasn't able to, to do that. So I was sidelined for a little bit. So to come here last minute, I got my plane ticket on Thursday. Today's Sunday and uh, to ride in the third just means the world and uh i think i had a, a fantastic swim i was i think i passed like 12 people in the final 1k of the swim i was just I was feeling good uh it's my first race on a uh, new sponsored bike felt i was moving really well and felt great i think i broke the bike course record by like two minutes or so and then uh just kind of tried to run conservatively all day because i i've only ran five times in the last two months and had enough gas in the tank to rip the last mile to run the third so i'm pretty stoked yeah, yeah, I, I just like to go fast and uh, some people pass me and then they slow down and I'm just like gas, 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 gas. So I don't know, I'm just a little impatient and uh, I just know like I'm not even racing those people. Like I was racing Hanson, the guy, like I wanted to get 10 minutes on that guy. Like guys, we got to get going and uh, he ended up winning the race. So, but no, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm full gas all the way. I thought I could run probably like a 113 um, in good weather and then probably a 114 um, in really humid conditions. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I was shocked I ran 505 for my last mile. Um, but yeah, I felt, I felt decent the whole time. I was just like on that edge since I don't have run fitness, you've got to be, you've got to be patient. And I had to let people go. I was in fifth place at one point and I was just like, oh, this is, this is it. And, uh, I just kept catching fire that second lap, so. Um, as long as I can stay healthy and uh, continue to progress, I'll be at 70.3 Boulder, uh, hopefully Tremblant, and then the big one of Lake Placid, uh, all in for the Pro Series, so. I'm kind of relieved to, to get the win. Um, it was a really tough day, um, and yeah, the swim, the swim actually felt quite long. Um, and yeah, I came back a couple of minutes back, um, but in a group with Lisa and Jackie, and we kind of all took a bit of a turn to get to the front, and then I thought, okay, we're just gonna chill out now in the front group, but Jackie had other ideas. She broke off the front, so I kind of went with her, and then, yeah, everyone came back in together. So I think there was about six of us coming off the bike together onto the run, which is quite unusual for a women's race. So yeah, it was all down to the run, which, yeah, I don't mind, but definitely that last little bit was tough because I, I could see Jackie on each turn around that, yeah, she wasn't far behind. Yeah, I, my, my run legs felt solid, but um, yeah, they weren't very uh, like bouncy today. But yeah, I thought as long as like I drink and, and I fuel at each aid station, then um, yeah, I should survive it. It was more the humidity, it was quite tough. Yeah, I definitely felt it, especially that second lap and going up the road where there's no cover. I was like, yo, now I'm, I'm really heating up. But um, yeah, managed to, to take it to the finish. Thank you so much. I'll take you through the day. The swim was incredibly aggressive. This might have been actually the roughest swim I've ever done. I have no idea. Must be something about the pro series. These ladies were extremely feisty and it was rough, but once it spread out a little bit, I settled in good and it felt like there was a nice current on the buoy line. So I focused on staying in the buoy line and ended up with a nice group. And I saw some colored, special colored caps, so I knew I was in the right company. And we got out onto the bike and I didn't want to get stuck behind a bunch of people. So I just went out and rode hard for a little bit and knew eventually some people would come by me. And then Lisa came by me and Emma, and then we kind of started working together for quite a while on the bike till we caught the front group. And once we caught them, um, because of the, the way the lights are in the draft zone, I thought it would be pretty hard to lose that group. And um, we tried a couple times and I really sent it on the downhill. Um, I know this course super well, so if you can stay in arrow and just bomb that descent with the curves, um, you can sometimes gain a time. And I did manage to, I think I looked back at the end of that and it was just me and Emma. But I think whoever was leading the backup gang managed to catch back up to us. So we all came off the bike together and then, 
you know, I don't mind a foot race, so it was no big deal. And just, you know, I couldn't quite go out at the speed that Emma was going out. She's an amazing runner. And I was getting a little weird trying to do her pace. So I just right away was like, I just need to run my race focus on what I can do and once I did that I was able to settle in pretty nice and um, was happy to hear that her gap wasn't growing to me so overall real good felt good happy and um, I'm ready to rest up for Ironman in two weeks Hamburg Pro Series baby we're going take us through the day oh man so there were some hiccups first thing but it was pretty awesome to get off, good swim, um, had some company on the bike, and then we had a lot of company on the bike. Oh boy, Jackie Herring is riding strong these days. Those ladies better watch out in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, you know, today was just kind of a, let's go and see where the fitness is. Um, you know, put together a tiny block before this, but really didn't have a lot of expectations. You know, this is first, May is a late start, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do Placid in a couple months and really run to just gauge where I, the fitness was. I have some work to do overall, but um, yeah, happy with it. I'll take it. Tell us, uh, what have you been busy with? Yeah, so um, I've been busy with uh, an almost three-year-old, so I run after him. I'm also in my third year of my doctoral program um, and just very busy. I'm learning what it's like for the 99% uh, the of triathletes all day out there trying to balance you know, work and training and family and it's amazingly hard, but I love it and that's what gets me out the door. In front of you, I think you could catch Jackie. Uh, honestly, I started the run and the battle was for myself because I felt like uh, you know, I swam and bikes harder than probably my training should allow me to. So it was a, let's just try to put together the best uh, half marathon I can off the bike, be patient, um, and try not to let the heat get to me too much. Um, just try to be smart and consistent. And, you know, I know, I know Jackie's super fit right now, so I didn't think that I would necessarily be able to catch her unless she just was really off the second half. But I, I realized pretty quickly on the best case scenario today was going to be a third place. And then they asked you earlier, but how would you describe your race? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my description of this race would be surprising. I didn't think that I was that, you know, in podium shape, but it's nice to meet.